Hey everybody, Joe here. I'm back again. Figured, let's uh, get ahead and start on things and shoot my pickups video right now. I've got a whole bunch of stuff to show you today. Let's get right to it. You see right behind me, Star Wars Arcade for the 32X. Picked it up the last month. Well, I got a 32X. Took some uh, messing around, but I actually got it working too. Might actually uh, do a troubleshooting guide video. But anyway, let's get on to what else I got. Earlier in the month, my buddy Brian and I went to a flea market. Did not expect to get anything. Turned out doing okay. I spent 14 bucks and got four games. Wave Race 64, The Mafia Conspiracy, Silent Service, and the last thing I got was California Games for the NES. I actually have a lot of nostalgia for California Games. Actually more the 2600 version, but the NES version is also quite fun. Alright, moving on. You saw my review of Doom already. When I bought this, I got a message from the seller saying, I've got a black label version and a green label version. Would you prefer one or the other? I said if it's all the same, of course, give me the black label. I can see why this one's a little cheaper than uh, the normal gong price because, I mean, you can probably tell the plastic is very yellowed. And if you put your nose up to the pages of this manual, oh, it's apparent that the oh, previous owner of this game was a very, very heavy smoker. I mean, you could probably lick the pages and get your nicotine fix, seriously. Anyway, let's uh, go on to some other stuff here. Got a bunch of Game Boy games. I got a dozen Game Boy games. I want to start off with some Game Boy Color games here. Rayman, Scooby-Doo Classic Creep Caper, Shrek Fairy Tale Freakdown. That's actually like a fighting game with Shrek and Fairy Tale characters. Weird. Frogger 2, uh, actually, uh, an original game published by Majesco, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, Austin Powers, Oh Behave. Yes, a movie licensed game made by Rockstar, the people who brought you Grand Theft Auto. Got some regular Game Boy games that aren't anything too special here. Ren and Snippy Space Cadet Adventure and Game & Watch Gallery, the original Game & Watch Game Boy title. And next pile of Game Boy titles here were actually intended for sale in Germany. Not anything different from your American versions, they just have the This Side Out label in German and the little uh, product number code, or it's all letters so it's not really a product number code. That's all uh, a different code too, instead of USA at the end it says NOE. But uh, the games are Castlevania Adventure, which you saw the review of recently, Batman Return of the Joker, R-Type, Miss Pac-Man, and Robin Hood Prince of Thieves. Yes, you get some filler sometimes when you buy lots. Next stack of games. This is where it gets really interesting. I want to get into collecting Famicom games, so bought a lot here. Some of these aren't anything too special. Uh, they actually had American releases in some form. But anyway, let's get into them. Uh, Kaneko Man, otherwise known as Muscle. This is the original one. I now have all the NES wrestling games, just one I have on the Famicom. Family Stadium. This is... Uh, Basically a modified version of what we call uh, RBI Baseball here in the States. Super Mario Brothers 3. Yeah, it's Super Mario 3. This one is kind of interesting. Challenger. Basically, they started off making a port of an MSX game called Stop the Express, but then they decided, let's just use the first level, chop the rest, and make their own game. It has this really kind of funky Indiana Jones meets Star Wars kind of uh, label art on the cover. I want to put that over my shoulder here, and you can see what I'm talking about. It's kind of funky looking. I've yet to play it, but I've watched some playthrough footage and it looks kind of cool. Angry Video Game Nerd did a review of this. It's one of those games that's way harder than it needs to be. Transformers Mystery of Convoy. Pretty obvious one we never got that one in the States. And another uh, wrestling title here. Tag Team Pro Wrestling is what it says on label. We called it Tag Team Pro Wrestling when we got it here in the States. I have the NES version already, but now I have both. I'm not even going to attempt the Japanese name. I've seen it spelled out. I have a little label with uh, a cut down version of the actual name, but I'm not going to touch that. But this is the Japanese version of what came to the States as Ninja Kid. I believe this is kind of like an RPG type game. Probably won't be able to play this because it's got to be all in Japanese. So. But it's got a cool looking green cart with some fun looking artwork on it. And finally is uh, Gunberry Goemon. Uh, this is the first uh, console Goemon game. You know, Mystical Ninja, all that stuff. This and an arcade game called Mr. Goemon is where it all started. And now, 
very last but not least, I got two things here that were donations to my collection. I should have done this one last month. See this naked game cartridge here? It's a Retro Liberty would call it a faceless game. But I know what it is. I knew what it is before it was faceless because this was actually a transplant recipient. Story goes, my buddy Dan, you saw him in my Dreamcast Top 5 video. He gave me a copy of Red Zone that uh, his dog chewed up. He actually got one copy in the mail before he could play it. His dog chewed up the cartridge, ordered another copy, dog did the same thing. He gave me the more beat up of the two for nothing at all. And I had a copy of Streets of Rage 1 that was beat the hell, completely broached, took the label off and transplanted the board into this. Works fine. I'm going to probably try to Photoshop up a label for this. Hopefully I can get something that looks good. And finally, my friend John, he's the one who donated my copy of Super Metroid to my collection. He gave me a copy of Animal Crossing for the GameCube. This is complete. Got like the warranty card, all the paperwork crap, and the memory card with the gift. And that's it. That's everything. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.